Here at Spotify, we were approached by the Union of Musicians and Allied Workers to make some changes to be more generous to artists. Pshaw. Right, I heard about this. It was members of um, Speedy Ortiz and Zola Jesus and like Galaxy 500, right? Galaxy 500. There's a band whose name I've heard for some 20 years now, and I don't think I've heard a single second of their music. I did. Well, huh. You know, me, me neither, now that you mention it. They're just kind of there, eh? There's a whole world of bands like, I don't know, Calexico, or Apples in Stereo, or Mr. Bungle, where it's like, I know they exist and have careers, but if you told me they had moved 10 units between them, I'd be like, yeah, that checks out. This is, I, I do know what you mean. Like, I couldn't even speculate who their audience is. And yet they're still like there. No hate though. No, totally. I mean, good for them. Totally. Just goes to show you there must be a whole world of like, I don't know, Bell and Sebastian super fans, even if I can't imagine that they even exist. I mean, they've got to, I suppose. There was a Matador band in the 90s who were like the top example of this. Oh, what was their name? What was their name? Oh, oh my God. There were so many of those. Um, Unwound? No. Bardo Pond? No, not them. Uh, not Helium. No, Love Mary, Team Mini. Okay, um, not GBV. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, I'm thinking. They might have been Japanese, I think. Right, right, uh, tip of the tongue, um... Hang on, Pizzicato 5. No, not them, good pull. It's totally Pizzicato 5, a Japanese matador band from the 90s, where he never had any idea who their audience was, or if they even had one, despite being 100% aware of their existence. No, same time frame, but Chibomato. What? Chibomato, that's who I was thinking of. Huh. Were they on Matador, though? Weren't they? I could have sworn. Well, hang on, Daniel Lack, I'll look it up. See, I knew it. Chibo Mato were on Warner. They were? Yep. Viva La Woman was Warner. Stereotype A. The blue one, right? With the headphones. Right, exactly. Warner Brothers 2. Huh. Actually, you know what label they really remind me of? Besides Matador, you mean? I'm getting major Grand Royal vibes from Chibo Mato. Okay. Oh, what? You don't? I just don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> Not even information. It's it's just like record label word association. I mean, I'm just saying. Hang on, Daniel. We were <laughs> we were just talking about payola at Spotify. Remember? Oh yeah.